and close up the hand boogie and scroll down one more time and did i did i skip it here i'm too zoomed in i can't see right it's too zoomed in so now we'll look at the sales by customer detail now note you also have this uh sales sales by a uh, customer type and that would be applicable if you have you know customer types as as a category category section you can take a look at that but we're just going to look at this one sales by customer detail sales by customer detail so i'm sorry this one's sales by customer type detail i'm going to go to this one sales by customer detail let's pick that one up and change the range again from 010122 tab 123122 tab run it to refresh it so now you've got the customer information and the actual activity uh, per customer so this is a nice report that gives you the detail but this is one of those reports that you might not use quite as often because you might look for this kind of information over here if you're if you're trying to communicate with a particular customer on this side where you would be going into the sales the sales side of things which would be kind of like the customer center i'm going to close up the hamburger and if you went to the sales transactions then here's where you can sort those transactions and possibly sort by the invoices for example or you can sort by the sales receipts so now we've got the sales receipts that we're sorting by and we can also go to the customer side of things and we could sort by the open invoices and so on so if i'm actually communicating with an invoice about the sales we made to an individual we probably find the individual in here and then look at that the detail that they have within it as opposed to say running a report like this and then looking for you know the detail within the report was my thought process on that but there is this 